Hi, it's Rob Mohen. Now, I interviewed Grant Cardone this morning for my podcast, The Disruptive Entrepreneur. I went down to London in the morning. He was staying at the Mandarin Hotel and um, the, he was basically doing interviews and he'd line them up all day. Now, I reckon in the old days, and when I say old days, I mean like not even five years ago, um, all of the interviews in the media, someone very successful like Grant Cardone would have booked when he's coming over to the UK for a few days, would have been TV and radio. Except this time, pretty much to my knowledge, all of the interviews that he'd lined up back to back to back for the day were on podcasts. So my question to you is, do you have a podcast? Um, because I really feel like podcasting is the Netflix of audio. I feel like podcasting is the next media to explode. I feel that voice and audio is the most, um, it's the easiest, most convenient, most instantly consumable media now. You have to take a lot of time to uh, read a book. You have to sit for two or three hours to watch YouTube videos or DVDs. Whereas you can have a 15 minute podcast in the car, going for a walk in the gym, on the train, on the plane. Uh, you, you can skip ads. Uh, I remember when I was on radio, on Steve Wright's Radio 2, which is a big show here in the UK. Um, I was, you literally had to wait three hours to hear from my 10 or 15 minute slot. Um, but now you can just pick and choose whatever po podcast um, episode or audio you want. You can look through all the podcasts that are on, pick the ones that are right for you, subscribe, listen, you like it for five minutes, uh, you can binge listen to 15 or 20 of them like you do on Netflix. If you don't like them, you can unsubscribe and gone. They're instantly consumable media. And the world is completely changing because B radio used to be B B BBC in the UK, you know, whatever big corporations in America. And now individuals like myself with the Disruptive Entrepreneur podcast and others, I know Grant was going to do Brian Rose's London Real. He's got a really good podcast with good listenership. You know, like we have now more listeners than mo most BBC radio shows. I've got nearly two million subscriptions to my podcast now that I've built in two and a half years. And it must have taken BBC decades to build that. So, you know, and, and I'm not like a celebrity or anything like that. And there are definitely Americans of way bigger podcasts than me. You know, I'm, I'm behind the, the eight ball compared to the Americans, but, or some of them. But still only 4% of the UK list of podcasts and 20% of America list of podcasts. Whereas 80% must have email, 50, 60, 70% must be on YouTube and listen to radio. So this, I believe, is the next big thing and the future. And that's exactly why I'm doing a, a one-off live training where I won't be recording it on the things I've learned through podcasting. So it's bit.ly forward slash podcasting secrets. Uh, and on this 90 minute online training plus, I'll do at least a 30, maybe 45 minute q and I'll teach you all I can in the time that I've got that I've learned about podcasting, my 3S step system, three S's to creating a successful podcast, how to get great guests, I think there's about 11 ways I know to get content out of you. I reckon, what, 15 minutes every week or 30 minutes every two weeks is your minimum amount of time you need to invest, which I, anybody can do. If you can't make that time in your life, don't even bother joining me um, because, you, you know, like everything that's good needs some time investment. But it's for such a little investment. Now, also, if you went on the radio and it was live, when that radio show's finished, it's done. But with the podcast, um, you know, you do a podcast and it's online for possibly forever. Like my podcast that gets the most listens is episode one. And that's the oldest one. Um, because obviously when people subscribe to my show, The Disruptive Entrepreneur, usually they listen to episode one first. So every um, piece of content you do is an asset that could last for years. I'll teach you the 10 or 11 ways I know to monetize podcasts. Now, I never intended to make money in my podcast and I don't run any ads. I don't do any selling on it. I'm not saying that's wrong. Ads is one way to monetize it. Selling on your products and services is another way. Uh, and I've got at least another eight ways. But I chose not to run ads or sell on my podcast. Yeah, um, if, if I got a napkin and wrote down what I um, predict I'd made on it, well, well, predict, what I have made on it, it's more than two million pounds that I can track. It could be three or four million pounds from the, you know, the big guests that I've got that have come on and bought my products and services, the celebrities that I mentor, people have bought on my books and then done and followed and, and done my training products, etc., all from finding me through the podcast and 
Um, the good thing about podcasts as well for you is it builds this remote rapport, you know, because people can be listening to you all over the world. I have listeners in 189 countries, countries I don't even know, didn't even know existed in the world. And so my point is you can do this too, whether you're in property or business, whether it's a passion, you know, a profession, it's health, personal de development, entrepreneurship, whatever it is that you love to do, teaching people how to play chess. I don't know any subject that couldn't have a podcast on it. Um, and so if you go to bit.ly forward slash podcasting secrets, um, Thursday, the 17th of May at eight o'clock for 90 minutes plus 30 to 45 minutes Q&A. Uh, I'm going to share you all that I can in the time that I've got. Um, and I, what my, my intention is to open your mind to podcasting, teach you how to get uh, it set up with your equipment, um, help you find your concept and your content help you decide if it's something that you want to go into. You know, I'm looking at some people I know who are tuning in live. Connor, you know, Connor, you absolutely know so much about watches and you're a passionate watchmaker. You know, I, I, you know obviously I would say this, uh, you know, but I think you need a podcast um, because, you know, you can find all these watch connoisseurs and passionate people. Obviously, you'll be able to sell loads more watches. You'll get invited to all these big watch shows. I mean, and only if you, if you only had like 10,000 subscribers, which I think anybody can get with a bit of work. I'm not saying it'll happen overnight. Um, you know, then that's enough. According to Kevin Kelly with his 10K true fans concept, that's enough to, you know, have a business for life and have income for life. Um, so, hey, look, and also you reach all these people in these different countries that you never knew existed before that you can't reach on your Facebook ads or your other um, marketing that you do. So... Um, my pleasure. Uh, some of you are thanking me for doing e evening lives. Yeah, I'm, I'm wired today because of the uh, interview I did with Grant. I'm normally like uh, dribbling in bed at this time watching Netflix. Um, so yeah, tune in to Bit uh, or Law or click, go to the link, blah, 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 um, bit.ly forward slash podcasting secrets. And I'll see you Thursday, 8 p.m. for a deep dive on podcasting and hopefully I can inspire you to set up your podcast and grow your brand and your reach. It's been one of the best things that's ever happened to me in my business. You know, I have 720 properties that I own, co-own and manage. Um, yet my podcast doesn't have any boilers. It doesn't have any tenants. It has no moving parts that go wrong. And every day, I'm, you know, like I say this humbly because I know there's bigger guys than me who've got more followers and fans. But, you know, I get dozens of messages on Facebook. I'm getting dozens of messages on LinkedIn every single day. And I'd say at least half of those, hey, Rob, I listen to your podcast. They found me, you know, through that. They bought my books. Um, you know, they've got questions. They thank me or whatever. And that's a cool thing to happen. And that's all happening from assets that I created months and years ago. And by assets, I mean running my mouth off about what I'm interested in. I mean, what great, what better therapy than a podcast for me? You know, I used to run my mouth off and get told off or get in trouble. Now I run my mouth off and it's on a podcast and it seems to help me grow my brand and my reach and my bank balance. And I want to um, help you do the same thing too. Um, so yeah, thanks for tuning in. If you've got any questions, stick them in the thread below. Uh, and don't forget to tune in bit.ly forward slash podcasting secrets. Actually, you can't just tune in. You need to click that link and register. And I'll see you um, on the live training. It's, it's, it's based on GoToWebinar. That's where it's, that's where it's hosted. Uh, and remember, if you don't risk anything, you risk everything. Like if you don't risk doing a podcast, you risk not having a brand and not having exposure and not having reach and not having that trickle down revenue effect. It's the softest sale ever a podcast. You don't even have to sell on it. Um, and I think that's great. It's great for introverts as well who don't like doing Facebook Lives and all those kind of things. So see you then.